Hello to all and welcome on the Watches TV. Welcome at the Watches Club here in Geneva. And today we had the privilege of having the visit of yet another exciting timepiece by Grubel Force with the introduction of the Balancier S, a new watch following in the footsteps of the GMT Sport introduced in 2019. Well, you guys probably know uh, my appreciation of the regular GMT collection by uh, Grubel Force. And, I mean, regular is definitely uh, not an appropriate word when you talk about any Grubel Force timepiece, but one must say that they definitely surprised us with this uh, sportier looking watch coming in a very original shaped titanium case. And to be honest, well, we for sure didn't expect them on this type of territory, but the overall package simply worked. Well, it seems they appreciated uh, this sporty experience, as well as some privileged clients, as they are now introducing another timepiece using part of the, this uh, design code, but pushing it a little bit differently and with a significant change when it comes to the movement. The GMT Sport featured the signature globe rotating on itself in 24 hour, and it was of course a tourbillon. Well, this uh, new Balancier S, I mean, there's no more globe, no more tourbillon, but instead the use of an inclined balance wheel, the same 12.6 millimeter large balance wheel seen first on the signature model, but as mentioned, inclined with a 30 degree angle in respect to the horizontal plane of the watch's movement. That's a first for them, and the goal is always the same, meaning uh, taking uh, chronometrical performances very seriously, and it seems uh, that this objective is unsurprisingly well achieved with this uh, new movements architecture made of uh, 308 components and 42 joules. The watch beats at uh, 21,600 vibrations per hour and offers 72 hours of power reserve thanks to two coaxial barrels mounted in series. It is naturally hand wound. Uh, yes, there are things that won't change and it's not because uh, you mentioned the term sport that they will go down the automatic route and instead are sticking to some rather pure horological principles. And uh, when you wind the watch, well, you will actually see the upper part of the barrel turn in sync on the dial side. But let's now talk uh, design. So as mentioned, the titanium case is more or less the same as the GMT Sport, meaning this pretty complex shaped uh, case that when you look from the top may appear totally round, but in fact it is more ovoid. So there's this uh, optical illusion which is working really nicely with this 43mm wide case band and 13.75mm in height. I particularly like this uh, angular shaped uh, bezel, uh, flat top surface and angled side uh, with the engraved values of the brand as it reflects light quite differently and adds further volume to the piece. So regarding the dial, well you have this uh, central hour and minute curve hands floating like on the GMT Sport, but the titanium bridge maintaining this together onto which you will also find the necessary gear trains transmitting the precious uh, time information, well instead of also being curved, uh, here the bridge is also slightly angular, and I would say that angular is definitely one of the main design characteristics of uh, this dial face. And the most uh, explicit illustration of this comes uh, with this angled surface when you, uh, where you find the balance wheel and the small seconds uh, indicator. It is really quite an odd and complex shape, almost complicated to describe, but extremely nice to look at. You also have another subtle uh, uh, angle feature found around the dial, kind of a sinking element, which again adds this uh, 3D impression and this depth yet when uh, looking at the timepiece, even though you don't have any open world feature, which generally help uh, create this effect. So overall legibility is therefore extremely efficient, even when it comes to the very small uh, seconds uh, uh, indicator, uh, since the color contrast really works well and you can easily figure out the precise time even at night. On the movement side, you can see three beautifully executed bridges contributing to the modern aspect of the timepiece, and again playing with different uh, surface finishing, mixing frosted and polished surfaces, and naturally, I mean, the overall level of finishing of this timepiece, I mean, it's again all the way up there, but one wouldn't expect anything else, right, coming from uh, Global Force. So we had the, the great chance of having this uh, fresh timepiece here at uh, the Watches Club, but there are actually two versions, the other one coming with a blue dial and strap, and both versions being limited to 18 pieces each. So I have to say that I really like this timepiece. I like its simplicity and purity, and this is precisely something extremely difficult to achieve. So anyhow, I find it quite amusing to see this uh, sporty dimension of uh, Grubel Force 
Again, seriously, didn't expect them there, but I really think that they tackled it rather brilliantly. So for instance, who says sporty? Well, you generally associate this with water resistant performance. And despite the fact that here you have a simple regular clown that you pull, well, if you want, I mean, you may take it down to 100 meters during your next dive. But personally, I doubt I would ever try to do this. I mean, with most uh, watches, I'm already totally afraid to take it under the shower. But there you go, 100 meters, quite something. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, very first take on the new Balancier S uh, from Gruber Forsay. Always a pleasure to discover their new timepieces. All the very best to all. Thanks for watching and sharing. Always highly appreciated. See you real soon and VIVA Watchmaking!